We're going to be talking about the Sketch Bone Tool. This is a really cool tool that was introduced in Anime Studio 11.2 and is also available in Moho Pro 12. So like all the other bones that we create, first we need to go and create a bone layer. So now that I have a bone layer created, I'm going to go ahead and name this sketch. And right up here in the Bone Tools palette is the icon for Sketchy Bones. Go ahead and click that. Now if you look at the top here, you have additional options. In this case, this is to select your bone length. So with this tool, essentially, you are going to be sketching out your bones. So I'm using a mouse, and I just drew out this line. I'm gonna let go. And you can see it created all of these lines of bones. And you're probably wondering, okay, why is that useful? Well, take this cat, for example. If we select the cat, you can see the bones of the tail were probably made by sketch bones, and it looks like they were. So let's go ahead and let's play out the animation and let's see what this tail is doing. So as you can probably imagine, if you were to take an animation such as this and animate a tail, and once you get into the animation portion, you'll know that with lots of bones, it can sometimes be pretty tedious. So sketch bones was created to make this process a lot simpler. So let's select a keyframe. Right here at frame seven, the cat's tail is pointed up. If I go and I select my sketch bones, which doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, you can see that it's gonna bring up all of these different nodes. And you're probably wondering what this is. Well, to explain it shortly to you, this is a really cool feature and it does something really cool. Watch what happens when I click on this beginning node right here at the tail. As soon as I click on that node and I drag out, you can see that there's a line being created. And this line is actually representing the bones of that tail. Watch what happens when I let go. Did you see that the tail moved? Let's do it in a more drastic way. So I am actually sketching out the trail or the path that I want these bones to go for the tail. Really awesome, powerful feature. You can even look up here, he has a scarf. I could do the same thing for his scarf. So now if I play out the animation, it's gonna look a little weird because now it's not gonna flow with physics, but. As you can see there, his tail in a very quick frame, move down as I had wanted it to. Now, if I wanted to go back up like it should have, I'm gonna select my sketch bones. I'm going to draw out his tail again. Now, the really cool thing about sketch bones is you don't even need to start at the end. Say I only wanted to twist from the middle of his tail down. I can simply click on that sketch bone and just drag where I want the end of his tail to go. So you can imagine what you can do with this tool, whether it's tails, scarves, chains, ropes, whatever it is, this is a really quick way to take those objects, such as a tail or a scarf, that uses principles of animation, such as overlapping action, and really make that process easier when you have a whole bunch of bones selected. Not only can this be used for tails, this could also be used for the arm if I wanted to. So just like that, I can do a ton with this feature. Again, this is only available in the pro version of Anime Studio 11.2 and Moho Pro 12. That's it for this lecture. Be sure and join me in the next lecture when I go over the transform bone tool. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you wanna help support the channel, I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.